Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Today we're looking at the top 10 hottest Dominaria United cards now that the set has been released. And I know this is a little different from what we normally do on the weekends. We have our big Market Watch video typically. This week, though, is a little bit different. I have some family obligations, so I'm not going to have that same amount of time to put into the video. I might still be able to get a video out either Sunday or Monday. As for today's video, though, I do think it's going to be fun to talk about some new cards. We're only talking about cards from the main set here, so you're not going to see anything from the Commander decks or Box Toppers in this top 10, but I'm sure we'll be discussing those cards in the coming weeks. Quickly, before we get into the details, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can order Dominari United products there. Plus, they have a whole lot of other things on their website, including the Warhammer 40k Commander decks. I'll leave a link to the pre-order page for those below. Remember, if your order's over $100, or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Shivan Devastator at $8.68. Now, when we look at the cards today in our top 10, and I'm showing you the current price, this is the price as of Friday when the set was released. As more packs get cracked, a lot of these prices could be going down, so stay close to them if you're trying to pick up any of these singles. The reason this made our top 10 today is because it's seeing a lot of early standard play. In fact, if you look at early standard games in general, 8.7% of the time this card shows up there. It's in builds like Mono Red Aggro and is it Delver, but Commander is also a factor here. It's showing up in dragon builds like Ravaz of the Claw or Mirum Sentinel Worm. It's in other builds there too, like Animar's Soul of Elementals, for example. Additionally, it was featured in a Soul of Wingrace deck this week on a Game Nights episode of the Command Zone podcast that could have brought some attention to it. The number 9 card currently at $9 is Plaza of Heroes. I have seen this in some early Esper midrange standard builds, since those are running a lot of legendary spells. Commander, though, is the key driver for this one. Clearly, this is a great upgrade to the new Legends Legacy Commander deck, or something to put in fresh builds around a couple cards from there, one being the front-facing Commander, the Hada Binder of Wills. The other card I'm thinking of is Shannon Sleeper Scourge. A lot of players are building around Jota the Unifier right now, too, and I've seen this in a lot of those builds, plus others. And it was in two decks in that Game Nights episode of the Command Zone podcast. One was a Dehada deck. The other was Shanna Purifying Blade. Number 8 takes us over the $10 mark with Silverback Elder, $10.24. Here's another card seeing some early commander play in a number of builds. Greensleeves Morrow Sorcerer is where I'm seeing this the most so far. Number 7 is Vesuvian Duplomancy, $10.86. This is an auto-include in a commander build around another new card from the set, Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. I've seen a lot of players building around that card, and this is also showing up in a number of other builds in Commander 2 like Orvar the Allform, for example. Number six is Leyline Binding, $11.43, and this card is seeing a lot of play in a lot of different places, at least early on. First off, when you look at early standard, it's been in 6.6% .6 of games played. Those builds include four and five color Windgrace, five color Xur, Azorius Aggro, and Esper Midrange, but it's also seeing Pioneer play. It's in five color Fires of Invention and Niv to Light there, getting modern play as well. Crashing Footfalls, Five Color Archon of Cruelty, Omnithlocus of Creation Builds, Azorius Control, and more. And to top it all off, it's appearing in some Five Color Commander decks too, like Jota the Unifier. Number 5 is Karin Silex at $11.50. This is getting some early standard play in Rakdos, Mono Black, and Grixis midrange. It's also in Mono Black Aggro there. I have seen some trying this in Pioneer Bant Ramp with Teferi who slows the sunset. Plus, I've seen it in modern Mono Green Tron and vintage builds of Prison as well as Aggro Shops. We'll have to see where this sticks in the end, though. Beyond that, it is showing up in a variety of Commander builds, including Kozilek the Great Distortion and Muria Scholar of Antiquity. Big jump here at number 4, Sarah Paragon, $19. It's in a lot of early standard decks. In fact, 7.5% of the time you see this in a standard game right now. The decks include Orzhov, Esper, and Mardu Midrange as well as Mono White and Boros Aggro. 
Plus, it is seen play in other formats too. In Pioneer, I have seen this in Mardu as well as Orzhov Midrange. Modern, it's been in Jeskai Stoneblade and Azorius Control. Vintage players are even trying this in Jeskai Control there. Additionally, it's in a number of commander builds, including the popular Giada Font of Hope, and it was in that Dehotted deck on the Command Zone podcast this week. Number three is Timeless Lotus. This has been a hot card ever since it was previewed. $28.75 currently is the price here. This is starting to look like a big commander card for five color builds, including Jota the Unifier. It is also a great upgrade to the new Painbow commander deck, and I have seen this in fresh builds around the front facing commander from there, Jared Carthalian, and builds around another card from there, Jensen Carthalian Druid Exile. Number two is the real Shieldred, Shieldred the Apocalypse, $36.55. Now, here's a card that's going to make a big impact on standard and early standard play. 32.2% of the time this shows up in a game. What decks are playing it? Well, first off, a variety of mid-range decks. Rakdos, Mono Black, Esper, Grixis, Orzhov. It's also in Jund Windgrace, Mono Black Aggro, and more. Plus, it's starting to see Pioneer play too. It's in Rakdos Midrange, Jund Sacrifice, and Mono Black Devotion there. And I've seen a lot of players using this as their commander in that format. Plus, it's in the 99 of a lot of builds there too. Braids Arisen Nightmare, Nekusar the Mine Razor, and a Traxor Praetor's Voice, for example. This was also in that Dehotted deck on the Command Zone podcast this week. Number one, maybe not a big surprise, Liliana of the Veil, vale, huge reprint here, $40.89. This is an early standard game, 35.5% of the time. Like Shieldred, you're seeing this in a lot of mid-range builds there. Rakdos, Mono Black, Orzov, Grixis, Esper. Plus it's in Jund Windgrace, Mono Black, Aggro, and more. Not surprisingly, this is also making a big splash in Pioneer. Rakdos and Golgari Midrange, Abzan and Mardu Grease Fang, Jun Sacrifice, Mono Black Aggro, and Devotion. And I don't have to tell you, this has been a big modern card. It's in Rakdos Midrange Scam, Jun did more there. Plus, this gets some Commander Play 2 and Tiny Bones Trinket Thief, and more decks, including some new ones, Shieldred the Apocalypse, Braids Arisen Nightmare, and Jota the Unifier. All right, that's going to do it for our Top 10 Hot Dominari United cards at time of release. I do expect a lot of these prices to go down as packs are opened and cards start to circulate. So just stay really close to prices for singles. Like I said at the top of the video, I'm not sure if there's going to be a big weekend market watch video this weekend. We'll have to see what happens. But if not, hopefully we'll be back on track next week. Make sure your notifications are turned on in case I post videos on different days or times that I normally do. Until next time, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.